Welcome back to the Open World RPG in Dreams series. In this video, I'm not going to be doing anything. Ghost Fruit 64, a team member that's helping me make this RPG, is going to be making the rigged and animated enemy that I made last episode look really freaking good. I hope you guys enjoy the video, and I hope you like this kind of like time lapse sculpting thing. Let me know if you do in the comments. <laughs> I'm happy with this so far. For this, I may even just do the four cuts and just like a little, a little something maybe. so much easier to get the low poly look by being subtractive. Oh my god. I'm so glad I figured that out. Because I was like... Because otherwise you're doing like hard blend. And it, you just have no idea what's going on. But like that's cool. That's fine. That looks low poly. I've done a little singing in my day. Watch this. La 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 la. See? Not every uh, average Joe can pull off that high note like that insane. Let's get this guy's face going a little bit. I know it looks terrible, just give me a sec. 
Just give me a whole minute. Look at this guy. He's ready to fight. Look at this little enemy. What's up, Acer and crew? Oh, sweet. It's auto update. Let's go. Boink! <laughs> oh, yeah. All right. Oh, look at you go. What's happening here? Oh, nice. That's, that's his idol. All right, pretty cool. All right, let's keep shredding this friggin' dude.
looking better now. I was just in a weird spot. I remember the first time I was sculpting something, I was so frustrated and trying to figure out like how to paint things and get con comfortable with the controls. Like my first, you know, couple weeks of dreams, I was like, this is brutal. But now it just feels like, oh yeah. All right. Let's make a club. Um, the only weird thing is that that doesn't match that. So I think we'll have to just do a little bit of All right, is that chill? Okay, so let's do some basic stuff real quick. Let's go for the expressive black on everything. There's two ways we could do this, this limb thing. One is to have glowing sculpts that are sort of a dark brown color, and then the glowing spots that are spray painted are light. It's a way to get the kind of two-tone look with one sculpt. So the brown we pick could be really dark brown. So it looks a little crazy right now, but You'll see like, when you turn up the glow, just that glows. It looks a little magical. 
Oh, so we want to do it on this side too. Yeah, that looks sick, I think. That looks like some magic power is holding together that log. Let me uh, be a little bit more not stupid about this and let's do all the brown first. I wanna do the gradient thing too. What was the gradient thing? Does it go lighter at the bottom or the top? I mean, this is kind of cool. I like what's happening here, this gradient thing. I like it. That's pretty sick. I think we're doing it. So we got the subtle purples, now we're going for the big purples. Oh, also, uh, we should do this. We can actually see the glow now. Okay, so now we're going through one more pass and we're going for, for our light. Yes, he looks so corrupted. I love how purple just like works perfectly for corruption every time. It's like, oh yeah, it's a universal language. Purple means corruption. Let's try him out in the scene. All right, let's see this guy. Thumbs up. 
Let's see this guy get updated. I need to make them movable or what? Yeah. Yeah, baby. You walk. But that definitely looks like, especially if he's kind of smaller like this. Yeah, I'm stoked. I think he looks really cool. I just wanna be 